it is finally here. It's been kind of torturous going through a work day. As uh, I had to... Minefield. It was a minefield with this. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so ready for this. It's already got kind of a much darker vibe as an intro. Right, so this is the trailer. The very first reveal we saw. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. How many years has it been, chat, since this got announced? It's been a while. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? I love her look already. Oh shit. Straight into it, huh? Wait, Zelda, what's behind us? Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, the music. Don't have control over anything else yet. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Not a fan of the short hair. Really? I kind of like it. That's, I guess, say, personal preference, ultimately. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. She's a lot more positive than last game. Seems the attitude has changed. Yeah, the slow walking I'm in. It's not the slowest I've seen. That'll stick to her pace to like build it up, you know. Suspense. Zelda? I thought I was Zelda. What have I been thinking for the last 30-something years? Okay, see, that, that was a bad joke. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Link. Master Sword. Huh. It must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Uh. We must be careful as we move deeper. Yeah, I kind of wish all of this was uh, voice acted, to be honest. But, I mean, yeah, it's not a complaint of this game, it's just a lot of RPGs games do this. They'll voice act like five minutes, and then the next hour you have to read yourself. I'm kind of taking it all in right now. Obelisks. These ruins are from an ancient civilization. Wait, something's written here. Might these ruins be from the Zernai? Fireball. Oh. 
these carvings, I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of the earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Is this referring to what the people were called before, uh, the whole Skyward Sword? Wait, that that looks... yeah. I mean, this kind of looks like the statues that were in, uh, Twilight Princess that you could control. Is this what the Zonai look like? They seem so different than us. And such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Come on, let's continue. Oh, the music's getting more serious now. I bet the music that's playing is some other theme backwards, because there was a theory- a working theory about the first trailer, that it was playing the game over- game over music from Zelda 1. Ah. Monsters down here. They're just case. Oh, it's not making the sound that it was making yesterday. You're not hurt. Are you, Link? They're just case. I walked around naked for the previous game, Zelda. Calm down. I'm okay. <gasps> Look at these murals. <gasps> the written histories of the royal family. Include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? This sounds younger. This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. I have no idea. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Seven. It like said that my ancestors the maidens or the the wise men were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. Right, so that would have been the original Zelda from Skyward Sword. And if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zona. Or the mother of Zelda from the Skyward Sword. I don't know. The Hylians of that time, working together to establish the Kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Oh. Why is she so shocked? Incredible. This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. Well, I guess because she thought the calamity was a thing the whole time, but this is something else. And the events that led up to it. Link! This is a huge discovery. Could be that she's a massive nerd and just loves the stuff. All right then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. oh wow, can I do that with my Nintendo device? Looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. 
Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Hey, can I borrow that slate just to use a bomb, Zelda? Can can I can I borrow the slate to use a bomb? This this seems important. I've destroyed many of these before. Can can I can I just use the slate, Zelda? Zelda. Okay. Guess we're going on. Well, I mean, immediately this is definitely a lot more story than we got in the uh, opening sequence to the Breath of the Wild. Like, it's establishing more of a world. So, hey, is it Twitch yet? So, you pop in there whilst I was yelling at Zelda. Oh, well, we're not blowing the mural up. We're blowing the things around the mural up. Like, I have accuracy. I ran around in the... Not to brag, but I ran around in the previous game naked, just throwing bombs 90% of the time. I'm sure I can uh, blow that up without destroying it. The mural has plot armor. <laughs> yeah. I just love how the music's getting more and more eerie. Whoa. If you enter this room, would you think, oh shit, we've kind of fucked up here a little. That gr really, you couldn't voice act this? That green light in the distance. I'm having the strangest sensation. This is also ominous. Let's keep going. <gasps> what is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Okay. You can say not yet. Like, I can go back up. Yeah. No, that is, uh, that is definitely, definitely much darker. An explanation. I love it. Oh shit. Blink. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. I like this voice. Rob Matthew Mercer again. Faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names?
hustle this con catch a break. Yes, Matt Mercer is uh is Ganondorf, so Well done, Phantom Hand. That's uh that's quite the loading screen. Ganon kind of hot, he can rule, it's fine. Oh, so just being hot, as long as uh, you're that, you can do, you can do this, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, so this, this is interesting, the, the marking, did he just, so wait, did he grow his hair now? <laughs> Link, finally you wake. Oh, that looks cool. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was I think it's just out of his ponytail. That's a lot of hair, but I guess so. Danger you further. So, it has lost his arm completely. Master, I deduce that there is a 90% chance that I can't help you this time. <laughs> or... Man, I spent 10 hours upgrading this thing. The soul that seals the darkness, the sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. It's a good thing he's left-handed. <laughs> yeah, losing your primary hand would suck. around. Any yahahas here? Since I don't have a mask this time. Okay. Let's just assume there's nothing. Hey, Gammy. Link has tats. Uh, it's, it's a prosthetic arm that I guess connects to his body. Don't know.
I'm not gonna overthink this initial bit too much. So far, so good. This, uh... See, it's highlighting that because it's probably very important. Ooh, look at the chests this time. Archaic legwear. Simple classic legwear. Alright. Well, you know, this isn't a challenge. I'm playing this casually. Ooh, the UI is different. Okay, so this this is the uh, the Great Plateau moment. Where are we? This is the big moment. We're in the sky, aren't we? You're in the sky already. Let me see if I can place where we are. There's Elden. So if Elden's there, hang on. We're east. We're currently east. <laughs> yeah, this is a very Skyward Sword feel. Dude, this is this is massive. Hit the land, game over. I'm sure someone's done that, like, just hit the dirt and just game over immediately. <laughs> Fee will save me, I'm sure. Great Sky Island. Okay, well... A twig is better than our our master sword. Sky shroom, new ingredient. Yeah, that sort of hurt. Like that's quite the height. Oh. Mine. No health. No health being regenerated, so we're okay. Zone I charge. Can be used as a power source for constructs and other devices. A horn. Blade like horn. Okay. Oh, this is already damaged, so let's just get rid of it. A wooden stick. I'm gonna keep that as a base for now. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of UI improvements they've done, so... I will see them soon enough. I'm gonna swap to iPad so you can play. That's all good. I mean, I'm not gonna be doing this very quickly. I imagine I'll be here for a while. This is how I think. I'm not going down the path immediately. I'm just kinda... ...looking around. Let 
make your prediction. How long do you how long do you think it'll be before I experience my first glitch in this game? Or maybe I might not experience one at all. No rain yet. I mean, we're we're above the clouds, so. I mean, already the soundtrack to this seems, yeah, it's way more defined than just the cla the classic piano coming in every now and then. Don't think I'll have glitches. Yeah, well, it's possible. We'll see. I haven't seen any bugs yet. Or things on trays to kind of catch. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. The Shaker Slate. Oh wait, no, this is a Puripad. Or Parapad, whatever. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Princess Zelda's prize device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Okay. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held here. Or there. But no more. Now it's a lonely place. No one visits. One of the things that I want to see right away, I mean, not right away, but I want to see how this copes in the, in the, uh, the Lost Woods, because that's where the game would slow down, and that's a good indicator of what they've done to this. Hello, you seem to be new here. Do you intend to use that as a weapon against the soldier constructs? Soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us giving strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser, so you must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Done that. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. <laughs> yeah, I've done it. I, don't worry, I will not betray you, friend.
Okay. Why are you destroying my possessions? I do like the designs though. It's cool. Just checking. Oh man, I almost pressed X to get the glider out already. <laughs> uh. Okay. This should be safe. Splat. Okay, these are back. I think it's a good idea that they started here because then it makes the game look different. A single arrow. By the way, an update on the end of yesterday's stream. So for those that don't know, <laughs> as part of like the epilogue thing, I went to do the Kilton medals, so... The Kilton medals, you have to, uh, kill all the high knocks. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hold that thought. Oh, no. Oh, no! I'm not Histo, but you see me? I don't know someone like you could see the children of the forest. Well, if you see Histo, please return this to him. They're back! Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. You, you should keep an eye on that while you wonder. The question is, have they done anything to the quality of life of this or what? Well, there's a first tab and a last tab that's currently question marked. Okay. Well, we'll see. Anyway, um, I was doing the Kilton medals. You have to kill all the Hinox, all the Talus, and the Muldugas, right? To get a medal from Kilton. So I spent hours doing it, and, uh, when it came time to turn it in, the Talus work, the Mulduga did, but then the Hinox, it said I missed seven of them. And there was no way I missed seven. I even went through them all, like, just, I was losing my sanity at that point. It was late. I went through them and got down to eight. I was like, all right. Out of the eight that I, I marked it down to, pretty much, yeah. There was no way I, I missed seven. So I did some digging and, uh, turns out back when the game released master mode, there was a bug that prevented you from getting the Kilton medals. Um, and Nintendo supposedly patched it. And I get the feeling that I just somehow caused that bug to come back, but in a different way. But originally, that count was completely broken. So you were never actually able to do it in Master Mode until Nintendo patched it. So, you know, the, the, game, the game ended in a glitch passive, so... It's, it's it's perfect. It was a glitch. It wasn't me overlooking anything. It wasn't me overlooking a damn thing. <laughs> but, yeah, so typical. Yes, my game had a glitch. Shock of me having a glitch moment. T 
is the shambles lay, indeed. Whoa. What are you? Can I... Okay. If I can ride these things, game of the year already. Duck! Dickhead bird, come here! Get up! No, you can't ride. Okay, there was no option. There was no option. <sighs> I am sad. They could have made this magical like Donkey Kong Country. Okay, but now that, you know, we've had that... We've had the, uh... The expectation that there are Koroks now. I kind of have to have my Korok detection brain on. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's just... Okay, it's just a hole in the ground. That's a lot of apples. I wonder if they got new ones this time, or if it's more or less the same. I'm not sure if I'm going to find them all this game, because the, the thing about the previous game is... There's quite a few that are kind of in places that you just would not know they were there. And I don't know. The reward, which you saw, <laughs> it's not exactly that great. So unless they've done something, it might be one of these things that I will read a spoiler about and then commit to it. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's worth doing. Okay. Let's keep heading in this direction. That's the Stamel Shroom, there we go. Hmm. Maybe coming down here was a mistake. This seems just like it does nothing. I mean, I got some ingredients. I guess that's its only purpose. Oh, see, okay, there we go. I got bugs now. I need to start getting bugs, because I want to get movement speed buffs and all that stuff going. That's interesting that it doesn't show um, how many slots you have this time. So I'm guessing these shrooms are like on 
par with Hylian shrooms. It's just the sky version of them. Turn around. Oh, okay. This is master mode. This is nothing to me. I do like how familiar the music is. Why is it still going? Oh, this would be why. There's one more. Long stick. So I guess this is the form of our pole arm. Friendly. That's a new food entry. Okay. Ah, oh, I roasted that, but it's yours if you want. You roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I... I'm given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Yeah, I will do. I will do a few of these. Alright, so this hasn't changed. There's recipe cards now, but... Well, I guess... Select for recipe. Old ingredients. Oh, wait, is this letting me pick? Interesting. Is that not close enough? <laughs> Hang on. I, wa I want a few of these. To serve as my basic kills. Yeah, you can't cook in the fire, but I mean, at least that'll, that'll serve as basic kills for now. I mean, I'm back to being naked again for now. Okay. It's a cool looking shield. I mean, it's more than a pot lid.
That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. More spirits. That arm originally belonged to me. Oh, okay. Raru. There's a place named after this part, this person. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. New R thirty four character dropped out oh, nice. That arm should allow you to open the store. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Is that his arm? Because his his he's missing an arm as well. You can kind of see. The shrines. He's he's missing the same arm. We have his arm. He said it was here. This oh, I missed it. Yeah, my skills of deduction aren't as good as Faze. Okay, well let's go over there. Yeah, how's uh, everyone's day going so far? <laughs> I'm glad this week is over and now I get to chill with this. I imagine people are just starting their day, so. Uh, we're gonna get our bow now. It's so early, I bet. Some people have made an effort to pop in and I appreciate it. <laughs> We're getting this. I don't mind falling down right now. You went to work to get <laughs> over time. Yeah, well, money's good. I was able to get potato chips, so, uh, whilst not at a good price or at a normal price. Oh, there's no- there's no way I can walk along this. This, this like, requires a, st a completely steady hand, and that's just not gonna happen. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you can. But, I just get the feeling when you get to that slope, you're just gonna slip, so. Well, you still. Let me put it this way: one bag wasn't six dollars. <laughs> Let me put it that way. But I did. I was able to get my favorite flavor, which is like um, it's just chili, but it's it's effectively just salt and jalapeno powder. It was good. So I have those, and then a bunch of uh, other things to eat. But that'll be later. I hope uh, everyone has snacks as well. Yeah. Yeah, haha. Cheese. Yeah, I have some cheese. So, I can have that if I want. Is that a new dragon? What's that? That's a new dragon. Because I was like, it, it kind of looks like Farosh, but it's not quite the same. 
that's that's a completely new dragon. I also had uh, chicken nuggets for dinner, so. Because I felt like having chicken nuggets. So. It's like such a. I am a grown man meal. <laughs> but I, I wasn't feeling that hungry, and plus, if I want to eat some snacks later, I figure, eh, something small that I haven't had in a while. So. Were they dinosaur nuggets? What the heck are dinosaur nuggets? <laughs> Don't have nuggets shaped like dinosaurs? I mean, maybe? I'm not sure. I haven't exactly tried to get meals intended for people under the age of 10 in a while, but we might have that. <laughs> Just, oh no, Will had, uh, Will had chicken nuggets for dinner, so I can assume that he went and had a meal like as if he was seven years old, so gotta have them dino nuggets. Wait, this has Hero's Journey in it, really? No, it doesn't. At least not yet. I'm sure we have them. Just never seen them. Myself. Probably because I just haven't paid attention enough. It's not something that I've been looking for, so then... You know... They're probably there. In the freezer aisle. Seth, yeah, Seth has dino nuggets in the freezer, but Seth has children. I am a 30-something-year-old man <laughs> who just wanted chicken nuggets for dinner. I wasn't really interested in the shape of them. Unless they have some special kind of flavor, then sure, like, I can get on board with that. But if it's just... Jeez, that scared the crap out of me. If it's just for novelty and shape... I don't know, they probably don't have a, as good quality chicken. That would be my guess. Oh, so it's a shrine. Who said they're for kids? Yeah, I didn't say they were for kids. I'm saying you have children. So even if they were for you, at least... You know, people could be like, Oh, okay, he has kids, that's why he has them. It's more excusable than me if I was to have them. Someone opens the fridge and is like, Yo, are those dino nuggets? What do you have dino nuggets for? This? Okay, that looked weird. Yeah, I don't know about that loading screen. But this is an interesting way to do this. Oh, so you've made it here. I thought he was going to read. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe light will restore a lost ability your right arm has lost. Now then, extend your hand. <laughs> Same sound effect. No odd uh, drop, though. Ultra hand. Grab objects, rotate them, and stick them together already. Okay. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really anything you can imagine. 
Use the altar hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. Okay. Ability to create. Ooh, this music. Oh, I like I like that. Being able to have your alignment points and then this. So it's it's mixing magnesis with a bunch of other stuff. This is like a better magnesis. Okay, forward. Hang on. Is this... hang on. How do you rotate? Oh, like that. There we go. Okay. Horizontal rotation. Vertical rotation. That's not how I want to rotate it. I want to go... <laughs> I want it to fall down. Okay, let me give it some... How's that possible? Fall down, please. What? Fall down! <laughs> what? <laughs> Vertical rotation. Now fall down. Okay, that, that's that's all I was trying to do. Okay, and now rotate. There we go. Drop it. Rotate. Attach. Ooh, this is cool. admiring the ceiling as well. Looks cool. I mean, I think I got it. Okay, this is this is getting messier than now by the second. Grab it. Grab it. How is this too high? Oh, what have I done? Um, this is not good. This is not good. Have I just fucked myself? Okay, hold on. No, no, no. There's no way I've, I've, I've locked myself. Okay. 
come on, like, ugh, nearly. Shit. Oops. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is like a classic slurp in Breath of the Wild. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where am I? Where am I? Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's intended that you go here. I don't want to completely fuck myself over, you know? So let's just... The important thing was unfucking this. <laughs> Which I have done now. <laughs> it's... Okay. There we go. <laughs> you know, I probably could have just used the platform to get a... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just provide entertainment. Now this is where I'm thinking, like... If there was a bonus chest that would have been up there, I don't think there's anything else. I did say I was going to pay attention to chests this time around. Oh. You've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Yeah, look, I mean... This is me just overcomplicating something simple, but rest assured, when it becomes something complex and I need to simplify it, you just wait. I'm gonna have my Octorok balloon moment at some point. You'll see. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. I don't like this loading screen. This feels like something's wrong, and then that happens. Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. You may want to mark the shrines and the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pure Pad offers a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Well, look, I mean, keep in mind that I was trying to learn how to attach and detach stuff, so, like, what you saw there happened by accident. It wasn't like, hmm, yes, let me attach this randomly. I was trying to get a feel for... The range of it seems a lot less than Magnesis to begin with. So it'll take a while to get acclimated to the controls, but... Okay, um... I mean, it has, it has a snap feature, so... I guess that's nice. Okay, hold up. Don't want to overdo it. It's not quite as, uh, robust as Magnesis. Hmm. 
I'm getting the hang of it. You might think this is a little bit annoying, but... Oh, no, not that. Unstick, please. Oh, that's... sure. I mean, that's fine. this for now. This is going to be my utility bridge. It's going to get me places. My companion bridge. Just don't drop it. Oh, I won't. Let's see, it's already coming in handy. Oh, that looks different than last time. I just hope it doesn't despawn, it shouldn't. Hmm, is there anything else here? Fix your gaze forward. Face it head on. Hmm? Pardon me. I was absorbed in my woodcutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Woodcutting. Woodcutting is the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. You can also chop them down to further make wood. Lumber has so many uses. That is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet I find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. That is why you must... You may have heard me muttering to myself, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Ah, I apologize. I've been rambling for some time. There is an axe I no longer need over there. It is yours to use if you want to do some wood cutting. Oh, I've already hit the hard limit for... Okay, let's just do that. Got a companion bridge. Huck. Huck. 
Hold on. Yeah, this is like me looking for Koroks. I'm going to carry this thing as long as I need to. Yeah, ha ha. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Oh, no. It came. Wait, why did it come loose? Does stuff time out? Okay, I also see a chest there, so hold on. Oh, that's the rock I threw. <laughs> it looked like a chest. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh, Magnesis chest. Disappointing. Okay. Companion Bridge. <laughs> Don't you dare. Does this want me to go back to the temple? I'm kinda not really headed in that direction. It's a big version of Plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh man. But it's just so good, it lets me go anywhere. It's a little cumbersome, admittedly, but... This doesn't have as long a range as Magnesis, which I'm kind of... Kind of missing that range of Magnesis. Yeah, see, look at this. I can't even... I mean, I might be able to lean it up. There we go.
that's going on? Okay, I mean, <laughs> as long as it lets me go up. Where am I right now? There is the lake, but I don't think I can do anything on the lake yet. I was expecting a Korok up here. Okay, let's go to the lake. Let's go, Companion Bridge. What's that sound? Oh, this. That's it. Yeah, do you want to talk about combat? Listen. Oh no, my bridge. Okay. When I'm done, I should check out the tile screen. It's neat. Okay. We'll do. Well, my bridge is away for a while. Better be worth it. Okay, so now I can't merge it with the chest, I can't make a chest stick. Maybe that's not yet.
I got separated from my companion bridge. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. I probably will. Yeah, I was trying to use it in combat. This time I feel like ingredients are going to play an extra important role. I'm engaged in hunting. Hunting? Yes, I hunt wild creatures that inhabit the forest. Hmm? I do not remember seeing you here before. We constructs fulfill several roles. One is to provide any necessary explanations to newcomers such as yourself. Other constructs you meet will be able to answer questions you may have about other subjects. My speciality is hunting. To hunt is to dispatch wild creatures. Many of them dwell within the forest. They are highly nutritious to organic life. They are also extremely wary. A hunter must not make noise. Crouching is essential for silence. A bow can be used to strike from afar. Aiming for weak spots is best. I'll give you the bow placed over there. You can use it as you please. Okay. I'll rest now. I guess we leave the companion behind, huh? Alright, I know where I am now. I mean, maybe I'm lucky. And it won't be gone. Wait, what is here? Oh shit. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Korok front? Interesting. Not really what I wanted to do, but you know what? This might work. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Yeah, no idea what the Blood Moon thing is gonna be like, but we'll see. As long as it doesn't happen every two minutes, then I'll be fine with it. Can I make that? Should be fine. Alright, there we go. So instead of piano, we get uh, woodwind stuff now. <laughs> uh, 
That's the difference in the soundtrack, is now just... Instead of light piano, we have a light version of something else. Rep companion bridge, they spawned. I need to reach my friend. This is awful. Where's my friend? Huh? You can see me? I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. <laughs> Bridge, Chan. <laughs> My friend is sending a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired that I can't move. Quite right, is it? <laughs> this is all well and good, but it's still like a little bit clunky. There we go. Can I bring you with me, friend? <laughs> nice. Don't worry. We'll be we'll be safe. Hold up. What you want you want me to attach his backpack to the thing? Korok abuse? Not abuse. I'm trying to help him. He's attached to the thing now, so I need to get on, but it's Being annoying. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what we want. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> we did it, team. There's my friend. You're here. Reunited at last, thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Oh. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. That's a different... <laughs> that's a different version of it. Yeah, ha ha. It's a Korra quest. I like that. What on... Yeah, too. <laughs> uh oh. Just be able to reuse this. We're gonna expand the scope of this one now.
fast. Let's move this over here. This is gonna be a multi-purpose vehicle. Starting to get the hang of it more. That's in a dumb spot. It's a boat with a hook. So we can do both. So if we need a hook or if we need to go on sea, we have a vehicle that does both now. Or will it? It might not, let's see. I thought that would have worked. No! Wrong one, wrong one. No wind. The wind is headed that way right now. I don't want this to take off without me. I'm playing a dangerous game here. Why is this not? It's fine. The vehicle is okay. S S S. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's functional. This is this is a functional ship. The S S S. How do I change? It's okay. Well, let's just trust that this will work. I mean, you could interpret this as the front of the ship. <laughs> it's, it's not quite a rocket ship, but it's functional. Now it's like Wind Waker, a little. Admittedly, this is a little too long. I don't want to lose my ship. I, I, I spent so much time on its construction. I 
What's happening here? Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Just get to land. It served me well. I don't think I can bring it with me. Too far away. So somehow I was supposed to dock here, which... Okay. No, I, I can read those messages and not have a song stuck in my head. Other people I bet are going to hate that it's just like... Stop! Earworm! Oh shit. Ow. Forgot we don't have a glider. <laughs> Whoops. Let's get in Isa Shrine. I've already almost been playing this for two hours. Well, I've gotten I I haven't died yet. There's no glider yet. There is one in it because the cosmetics are for the glider. So now you might question my problem solving, but if I get through this area without dying, that makes up for it. Oh. Say so you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Oh, that's the weapon crafting one. Okay. Mm. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Or not pick up the sword and fuse it with a nearby object. Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessing of this shrine. Press and hold. Okay. Onion stick. <laughs> yeah, I got an onion stick. <laughs> okay. I'll do a serious weapon. Stam bulb club. It works. And what is, what is this one? Also, what is that noise he's making? <laughs> Do I need to take pictures? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that function yet. Can I climb this? No. F 
fire for it. Oh, that's awesome. Man, that's so cool. Yeah, I was, when they showed this, definitely nerding out over it. Just expanding. Okay, I'm sorry. The other one I want to do. If you'll just humor me. Boo, I can't make a treasure chest stick. I'm going back to my onion stick. I like the visual style of these shrines, though, I gotta say. You fucked up. <laughs> Onion stick. on stasis this whole time. Okay, that's just the boring attack. I thought they were gonna have dungeons. I imagine they're there, it's just... This is just the opening sequence, like, you're not gonna get a dungeon out of the opening sequence. This is like the 1% of the game so far. Construct bro. Yeah, this is... It's already been two hours, but this is nothing. This is just like, but a small piece of everything. Much like Breath of the Wild, I need to acquire the primary powers. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. I can't believe it's already been like two hours. Okay. Climbing tip. <laughs> I 
Uh, but no. Link. I came because there was something I failed to give you. Please take it. Oh, pro because I didn't talk to you. What is that? It's like a spine. Energy cell. Designed to be worn on a belt, it can power Zonai devices. What I've given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope that energy cell I provided is useful to you. Okay, that's cool. I guess instead of bombs, we do this. Yeah, I'm making maces out of... Out of rusty weapons, which is cool. Like, it, it, the rusty weapon is now not just this trash thing. So, I'm going to be definitely using these claymores in this matter. Just to smash stuff open. I mean, okay. Thoughts on the game so far from what you're seeing. I'm pretty immersed in it. It's been like two hours. And I know this is still the opening segment, but I'm impressed so far. I wasn't going to dive off the edge, don't worry. As, as tempted as I was. you like it, hope you get it on Sunday. Hope you do too. It's a lot of fun so far. I just wish I could stay up all night and play it, but <laughs> Mother's Day lunch tomorrow. It's okay. That's what tomorrow night will be for. I do like those underground cave systems. Celebrating on Saturday. Yeah, because it was going to be Sunday, but then uh, my mom's busy, so she was like, Saturday. I'll just go over tomorrow with my brothers. on the other side of the river, right? Which I guess we can come back here now. That makes sense. To have a way back. I'm not gonna hesitate to take these things out. We need we need more materials. See now now I feel like there's a big incentive for combat because I want to see more. Ooh. Um. Let's get rid of this branch. But, okay. I mean, I guess we'll see more of it. 
But I'm hoping they don't substitute, like, standard weapons for the stuff completely. Because I do like the designs of some of the weapons. This already feels pretty distinct. I'm using the other thing. Yeah, let's just throw this one away. <laughs> it still does the classic animation. Uh, wooden stick. Thick stick, that's what we want. We, we want that extra thick stick. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> extra thick. It looks so ridiculous, running with this thing. It's like the size of Link's body, practically. I'll get a long one. Just so we have weapon variety. So I can make a pole arm. There we go. I'm gonna miss stasis. Excuse me, do those things just self destruct? Okay, we got we got cooking. We have cooking chat. Wait, how is Amber used for cooking? It's interesting. Right, we just need two apples per. Oh wait, he does... hang on, I wanna hear this. Listen. <laughs> Sounds more happier this time. Ah! Oh. Those are- those are themes. Okay, that one we know. Okay, so hang on. Select for recipe. Oh. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. 
That's cool. So there's short hands for cooking now. So if you've cooked stuff before, you can just look at the recipe. Soldier Reaper. Okay. Um... And yeah, you can choose to swap on the fly. That's awesome. All right. Should be enough. Uh, for now, let's just give ourselves a little bit of a buff. I think, I think we all know what I'm about to do. I don't care if this is pointless. I have my meat stick! Do you, want to, do you want to see something savage? I'll show you something savage. I'm going to use... the mate... of your fallen comrade. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. So good. Yeah, no matter what, I'm hanging on to this meat stick. I'm not going to use it in combat. This meat stick is going to... is going to accompany me all the way to the end. I will not use it in combat. This is a commemorative meat stick. death. I'm not keeping a death counter. Meat sticks should not be used to make war. <laughs> Are you implying that meat sticks should be used for love instead? Is, is that what we're trying to get at? Still, I'm still getting used to this UI.
made a rock shield. You know, you can move those big blocks, I know. I'm aware, I saw the connection points. I mean, I did connect it to that log setup that I had before. I'm aware. Okay, this is the second one. I'm getting used to this rotation thing a bit more now. Oh, what? Oh, damn it. I might make a... hold on. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, I mean, I try to do things in a manner that's not the obvious way, because sometimes the obvious way is too boring. 
Especially in something that allows freedom. So here I imagine I have no choice, so that's fine. Oh look, this was in the reveal trailer chat. What am I building? I'm building a boat. To get across here. The rafts of the, yeah. Cousins the other side are broken. Transportation is all holding, definitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the donor Zona devices are undamaged. Zona devices? Ah, oh, it seems you do not know of the Zona devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. One you see here is a fan. You can produce wind by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitudinous multi purposes. Using Zonai devices with work energies. Use an external fuel cell in your case. Ah, so you have one already. That's a relief. But perhaps a refresher is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zona devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zona devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, you may run out of energy at inopportune moments. Pardon the long explanation. It does not ne change our need for a raft. Zona devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you'll be able to find many uses to employ them. I will. I'm thinking very creatively. Creativity. It's my number one goal here. Oh no, the the tip of my raft broke chat. 
the tip of my raft broke. Damn. Well, at least the base is safe. Oh, you're going in this direction? This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I have developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Let's hear them. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or warm yourself. I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to the bundle of wood, then strike it. Yeah, yeah we know this already. Would you like to hear about cooking? You can cook anytime, anywhere. All you need is a pot with a lit fire. One method of cooking is to simply throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insect monsters and parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Save these parts as materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are an alternate way to warm, body, or recover stamina. The first step in all cases is fire. That is all I can tell you. Take care. I mean, I'm guessing these are... These are replacements for uh, the peppers. I'm sad, the tip of my raft broke. Now it doesn't look like what it- what I intended. It's okay. <laughs> hey, Messiah. <laughs> oh well. How's the uh, morning going? Do I want to cook more? Hmm, I feel like I probably should. Do I like it? Yeah, it's fun so far. I've, I've made my meat stick, so I'm happy. My commemorative meat stick. Weather attack. Oh, this is a new buff. Grants a low level attack enhancement in hot places. That's interesting. But I like the UI improvements as well. I gotta get used to them, but recipe and then you can do this. But I mean, it doesn't... See, I still have to... Yeah, I still have to do this, but... I guess it's less clicks. For the more complicated ones. I like the humming. Okay. I only died once as well, so it's not too bad. Oh, 
I was trying to get these. But then they were scared off. I can't believe I've already been playing this for two and a half hours. It doesn't feel that way. Did I cut the grass? No. Bright bloom seed. Discovery mining cave. Interesting. So hold on. Yeah, this is this is definitely going to be a time sink. I'm just sad that I can't stay up that late. Okay, this didn't work as I thought it would. It kind of does. I thought this would act as a light source. Like a, like a torch, but not really. It doesn't work. Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun so far. I'm digging it. There's something like that later. Okay. I imagine so. the fan thing. I miss stasis. Yeah, this is the crazy part, is this is still Tutorial Island. Did I make a broadsword with a thick stick? That's kind of, well, I mean... I guess it does work. Yeah, this one's kind of pointless. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. okay. That's interesting. I mean, I guess it works. Hmm. If you've had this for a couple of days, I bet you're a lot further now. It must feel good to somewhat be able to talk about it. So hang on. work. There you go.
Can I break this? No. Please wait. This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead. Do you have bright bloom seeds? Yes, I do. What a relief. You would not otherwise be able to see anything as you proceed. Bright bloom seeds grow primarily in caves. There was once a time where they grew here as well. This cave has been mostly picked clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. My associates often forget to bring bright bloom seeds. I am posted to provide a reminder. Use them to light your way if you are proceeding ahead. Watch your step. This is cool. Uh, guess this, because this is our hammer, technically. No? It's gotta be stone. What the? What is this? Hmm. Apparently I don't have anything that... Miss bombs already. <laughs> I mean, maybe they still like this? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um. Long bat. I made a log bat. Some of some of these weapons. <laughs> I forgot how to separate. Drop. It's fine, I'll just make a, a new one. Okay. Zernaite. An unusual material that has many purposes. Crafts armor and stuff, so. Should probably get as much of this as I can, huh? This seems important. I'm kind of curious now if we have dinosaur nuggets in Australia. I'm sure we do. I'm just, I was weirded out by the concept initially. didn't have them as a kid. Not really. It was like whatever was cheap. <laughs> I could imagine the dinosaur shaped ones probably cost more. This cave has uh, this cave previously had ample resources. It is gradually yielding yes, less and less. That is why I require support. But my requests have gone so far unanswered. I must therefore continue to mine without resting. Are you going to keep mining? Oh no! no it's smart enough to realize there's nothing there now. What are these? I have not given permission to take those. Could it be that you've forgotten to bring Zona capsules? Zona capsules? You have forgotten yours, or perhaps maybe you may not know what I mean. 
Zonite capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonite devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have some. I will lend you a few spares. The ones I gave you are fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonite devices are useful and come in many varieties. I will always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Okay, I mean that's kind of neat. Next time when I go to the store, have a look. Yeah. I still think... The thing is, right, I'm sure they exist, but are they going to be better than the good chicken nuggets I buy? I, I don't I don't know. I doubt it. Because the stuff they make for kids, they, they really don't give a shit about it. <laughs> I'd rather get the ones that I'm used to. You know what? This is an easy way to find out. Apparently we have dinosaur pasta. That's the first thing that came up. Yeah, we have dino nuggets. Oh no, see that? Those, yeah. Those are not going to be the good quality chicken. <laughs> I can already see it. Nuggies I love, nuggies I life, yep. And they caught it earlier, but I had I had them for dinner. Coloran assumed that I had dinosaur nuggets, because if I'm going to act like a seven-year-old, then I may as well go all out. So how does this work? Drop? Alright. That works, that works. Nuggies aren't supposed to have good quality chicken. No, but see, I I don't mean like top tier, hey, top tier quality chicken. That's not what I'm expecting. But there are some that it, it just feels like flavor. It's almost like a flavored mush, like not even not even meat like. It almost feels like it's a flower, and there's just fine traces of meat. You know what I mean? It's like. There's one where it's like a meat mush, and that's fine, but then there's others where it's like, it's not, it's not a meat mush at all, it's just this, it's hard to explain, but if you've ever had those kind of nuggets, you, you know what I mean. Like, I would say Burger King style nuggets, versus say, McDonald's or any of the other ones, that's what I'm saying. I don't want that. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and in the evening. Oh, that's what I've been hearing. Along with the constructs, we work to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Hmm. It was also... It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of the bell, it's the fond memories in me. What brand are the Dino Nuggets? I mean, this is like um, the supermarket's in-house brand. So... Probably be the equivalent of, like, your Walmart brand. I need to reach my friend. My friend and I got separated. Okay, I have to bring you along. I'm sure there are other brands. Like if there's, say, there's a brand called Steggles, which is not bad. Um, I worry that that is going to vanish if I walk too far away from it. Because it has before. Ingham is another pretty decent brand. Right, 
Come on, little Korok friend. I think the most dangerous part about this is just the fact that I have to hit it first. Can I hit it like this? I can. Okay, good. Because I'm standing on the car. Oh no, there's multiple. Thanks for bringing my friend here. Something for you. <laughs> the new yahaha noise. It's an extra happy yahaha. But yeah, I mean, so I can have my snacks later. It's all just chicken nuggets. This is probably a dumb idea, but I have to check. Okay, there's nothing. <laughs> just checking. Ooh, this one requires more effort. I've done this wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay, hang on. That was, uh... That was quite forgiving. Given what almost happened. Hey, where's the f Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> hang on, hang on. How did... How did I get it to... What? Game, please. How how to how to make straight? Is that gonna work? <laughs> I feel like this isn't gonna work. All right, try it. Yolo. Uh oh. Oh shit! I'm dead. <laughs> Didn't work. I'm still alive. Wait, did it put... Oh, that's not fair. It put me back. That's not where I was. What is this thing? Gotcha machine? Device dispensers operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zona capsule production target. Do you want to use the Zona dispenser? I have nearly met my target. You're welcome to use it. Device dispenser? This is a device dispenser. It produces zonite capsules by converting certain resources. Okay. The resources it accepts are things such as horns and charges. Okay, no, that's good. I get it. I don't think I need it.
That's nice. Shouldn't have had to do that in the first place. I kind of wish there was more of an animation for that. I don't know if you would call this necessarily a good idea. This is one of these things where I feel like it should work, but it might it might very well not work. Hey, come back! Where are you going? Okay. Uh, I should... <laughs> is this going to work, chat? Do you, do you believe? Do you believe that this is gonna work? This monstrosity, do you believe that it's going to work? Wait, what is this? Oh. Okay, now, now this is like, we're approaching like Mario Kart levels here. Godspeed. Why does it have to put me back here, though? Why can't I be on that island? What an asshole. I must construct a flying machine, quite clearly.
I feel like I'm overcomplicating this. There's got to be an easy way to do this. Let's just get across. not gonna work. Okay. I'm gonna do some engineering here. I have to trust that this is going to work out for me. You know? Why does it rotate like that? I just I don't want it to rotate like that. This is the only complaint I have about this so far is just if I want it to be completely like that. There we go. It's more clunkier than I would like. Okay. Alright, so... But you can only have one active at a time. That didn't work. <laughs> Alright, so much for the dreams of the flying machine. See, I, I overcomplicated this. This is how it should be. <laughs> I overcomplicated it! Round of applause. I just really wanted it to be a flying machine.
Do you know what these remind me of? These remind me of the things that, again, in Skyward Sword, um, the little mining robots that were in Lanayru mining facility. Kind of reminds me of that. Portable pot. Oh, that's useful. Definitely want that. That's awesome. That's cool. Wait a minute. What? Did I make a huge effort to come here and then I don't I don't really have to come here? This this is just like a bonus thing. Just looking at this. This seems like a bonus thing. Oh, okay. Ow. I don't like... This is too subtle. I can see- I can barely see those icons. But it might just be a brightness thing, I don't know. That... looks... Rather dangerous. I don't know if I should be doing this. done that. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay, let's find that tweak spot. like a talus. This is a cool fight. Like it so far. Jeez. Right now, Sano. Let's try, no death, no damage. <laughs> Flip. 
blame him at all. What is this? Ooh. I need a stick. How you unfuse a weapon? Destroy fuse material. There it is. The only thing is, does this fix it? <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, that's annoying. It would have been cool if it repaired it. It's a bit of a waste, but oh well. I didn't have anything else to fuse it with. See, the master mode. Ugh. Training <laughs> paid off. Jeez, <laughs> that was so close. The training paid off. It's, it's okay. I'm alright. No issues here. Almost a clip. I know. I eat my own fucking words. It's the best kind of clip. But I didn't have anything else to fuse onto it. Case is something that I'm definitely going to murder every time now. Without question. We know what that is. Wait, do we? The heck is this? This looks very suspicious, but I'm not sure what this is. Whoa. What? I think I know what this is. <laughs> this is a new core rock type. Oh, that is nasty. Without stasis. This is a much harder version of that other one. <laughs> a 
I'll get it. Uh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> hey, Hamil, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Oh, this is embarrassing. No. Hold on. I hope I'm not damaging my weapon by doing this. Oh, this is this is nasty. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I used to do these ones with stasis. How's the games here? It's going fine so far. I think I have to get it at the tip. Because the moment it starts doing that, there's no chance I'm hitting it. Wait a minute, can I do this? Can I, like... Is this... is this not what I think it is? Hang on, one more try. No, but... come on, I hit that. No, okay. It's not what I think it is. This is a waste of time. I have no idea what this is then. I thought it was a... Uh, a Korok. Okay, it's not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I definitely shot it. I definitely shot it. I gotta hurry because otherwise I'm gonna waste my cold resist. The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the garden time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I am terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Okay. I'm kind of curious what some of these do. Like, this one's just a plus one. No, see ya. Uh, let me get rid of this branch. Onwards. I bet that was a Korok. It's just gonna bother me. <laughs> what if it's very particular? Like, I have to get a bullseye? I don't know. Oh, heading off to bed, mudlock. No worries. Well, thanks for popping in. Yeah, I imagine for some of you it's like well past your bedtime. Or you're just getting up. That's usually what it's like here. Ah, uh, what do I want? Hang on. I was assisted by the slimes. Thank you, slimes. Choo choo. <laughs> it's about 5 a.m. for you. Yeah, I got, got some sleep. Ooh. Flame Emitter Club. But, uh, appreciate the raid. This is just. This is a sword. This is a rusty sword with. Okay. Uh, hold on. I think I can just pick that up. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Let's 
gonna bother me. <laughs> that was a Korok. It had to have been a Korok. But there's no Korok mask in this game, at least not that I've seen yet. Probably announce it in the expansion pass because that's going to happen for sure. Wait, a shield surfing still a thing? Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't work because I have a rock. <laughs> it's shield surfing still exists, but I can't shield surf on this. And understandably so, because there's a rock on it that makes sense, but... Oh. Yo. Bomb flowers. They're back. Except... Okay, so bombs are a material now. What is this ominous orb directly above me and I'm... Am I gonna hate this now? Oh, I see. This looks like a bloopy. What the heck? Bubble gem. A strange crystal left behind by bubble frogs in caves. It's eerie. <laughs> so there's Koroks and there's these things. Oh man. Collectible nightmare. Oh, the shield eaters. The back. I mean, I'll go check the Lost Woods and see if it's there, like last time, but I doubt it. I doubt it. This just looks hilarious. Like, I got two massive rocks. <laughs> so, is this gonna make a bomb arrow? Yeah, that did not work. my bomb it ate my bomb I don't have to fight you okay I thought I could trick it into eating a bomb it did not work we move on <laughs> I don't want to lose my bomb flowers it's not required although I'm kind of curious what it drops go on so bad. It's kind of... <laughs> How would an enemy like this work in master mode? Because at this point it would be recovering. This is not going to be worth it.
like like stone. A strange round stone from a like like made out of crystallized inner fluids. Good ingredient for uh oh no, there's a chest. Alright, no, this <laughs> I mean so far I haven't seen any chests that have made me happy. It still feels like it's the same in Breath of the Wild, where the chest just felt anticlimactic. Yeah, this was a good climb. The thing is, it, it kind of makes sense to just do this anyway. Alright, get ready. Nice. Oh shit. Careful. Um, but I love it. <laughs> Bonus chest. Curious about this. I have to eat again. Yeah, this is kind of nuts. I've been playing. I've been playing this for three hours now. The last time I looked, it was two. This is still the opening area. <laughs> Yeah, this is this seems deceivingly small, but it's it's a pretty massive area. Oh crap! It's gonna freeze! It's gonna freeze! It's gonna freeze! It's gonna freeze! Don't freeze! Don't freeze! Don't freeze! Don't freeze. The trial is up there. I mean, this is very thematically similar to Breath of the Wild with the initial area. The one shrine on, on the mountains as well. At least this makes sense, but uh, please, just the rain, just, oh man, I'm gonna be so annoyed if rain is also a thing. Because the one cool thing, the one cool thing about the mountain areas was you didn't have to worry about rain. And now this is just, oh, okay. And yeah, now it doesn't need to rain, now you just have surfaces, you just, you're not allowed to climb. 
player has to be challenged, yeah. Okay, hold on. I love how they're just doubling down on slippery surfaces. I guess they're going to make walls that are too hot to climb now as well. I mean, as long as there's a way to be able to climb it somehow later, I'm alright with that. But if it's just like Breath of the Wild, where it's just this thing that hinders you no matter what. Like, you could be in the strongest form you can get to. And if it still hinders you, yeah. Why does this look like overly... It looks really, really bright. I might have to check my capture card settings because this seems like insanely bright. Hang on. One sec. Sorry chat, it's just... I just made sure that it was on full mode. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be fine. I don't know. Okay, we got another cooking spot here, so I'll make more food. Oh, wait, it's the shield that's damaged, not this. Ten minute one. That should do for now. All right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> can't climb that, so... Gotta go the long way around. I don't want to try it yet, but I wonder if buffs stack. That'd be nice. So it almost looks like there's room for multiple buffs, but I don't want to stress test it. They probably don't. Not while freezing cold, you know. <laughs> I 
more cooking. Uh, how am I for just standard healing food? Oh no, see, this does look better already. Because the UI is, like, more visible, the icons. So whatever I just changed, it's definitely better. Cool. If this could let you cook in large quantities, this would be superior, but... It's almost the same, just doing this. Oh, that'll do for now. Do I have an axe? I do. That looks like the classic Korra. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> these are back. And then how do you do it? It's just... I have to glue it back together this time. Hold on, I need to, I need to eat quickly. Yeah, ha ha. <laughs> I can't believe they brought them back. I don't think I'm going to find 900 of them. That's just a lot. So what do? <laughs> oh, there's there's a lot here. You can kind of see all these locations. Get back up here for a minute. Without a glider, I'm kind of restricted on what I can and can't do. I'm gonna drop off the other side now. It seems to count for climbing up. Okay, anyway, uh, off this side now. This doesn't seem right either.
I mean, this got me across at least, so... Oops. <laughs> Confirming raft and zonai device operational status. Ah, part of my rudeness. You require a raft? The ones by the riverbank are ready for use. The zonai device has also been inspected. Okay. Yeah, this is just tutorial again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looked totally normal. Where'd you go? <laughs> that one just retreat. No, it didn't. Okay. Okay, listen. I'm getting up there. One way or another, I'm getting up there. Okay, that should be long enough. The return of Bridge Chan. Yeah. Bridge Chan making a comeback. smart here. <laughs> From what you've seen so far, there's going to be game of the year. I think so, but I've also seen people not receiving it that well. See if this works. I just I just want as I'm climbing just something that makes it not that tedious to climb, know what I mean? Like kind of like a neutral zone. That's not how I want to drop it though. It doesn't matter how you pick it up, I think. There we go. Um Okay, not like not like that. Dude. 
Ah, okay. Like that. There we go. This is, this is it. Yeah, this is the play. <laughs> Ice fruit. Okay. Bridge Chan, come on, we got we got stuff to do. Wait, I'm not trying to push stop link. Okay, I recognize that spot. That's where I fought before, so I should not go back there. Just attack. <laughs> I've already fought the thing there, so. I beat it first try. That's fine. Definitely a cool fight. I'm trying to get the high ground, but it's just... <laughs> Divide and conquer, conquer. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> I do appreciate there's a lot of arrows in this. Definitely a lot more than Breath of the Wild had. Okay, let me see if I can use Bridge Chan in the way that I want to use Bridge Chan. Slippery. It slips. This rotation thing is tricky. Alright, it's not gonna work. Okay, I need to figure out a normal way to get up there.
Okay. Maybe I've, I've missed the point of this. Let me go back. Has to be a way up there. I need to make more cold resist food because I'm going to run out otherwise. Seems like you can climb up it. We'll just. Am I just complicating this? Is this straightforward? Hang on. That looks like a normal surface, but I don't have anything to... Okay, hang on. I doubt this is gonna work. Doesn't seem like this. Can I just walk behind there? Oh. I can just walk behind. Okay. I don't know if that was the way I was supposed to climb up it, but I'll take it. <laughs> hmm. 
made it. I'm sure there was a smarter way to do this, but... Guten back. Yeah, I mean, whatever works, all right. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Ascend. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use ascend and receive the blessing from this shrine. The ability to rise. Alright. Oh, it's already... That's... it's pretty cool. What a weird power. I mean, this axe is... Pretty much done. Yeah, this is cool. Look at that. <laughs> the animation though is pretty nice. Hang on. I keep thinking this is Breath of the Wild, but now I can pick if I want to drop. So that's nice. So I just wanted to see the animation. That looked cool. <laughs> Fun mechanic. This ability seems a bit busted. Well, I mean, it only happens if there's a ceiling. But for something that's like, say, a mountain, or say, the Great Plateau, you can't really use it. Cool ability. I mean, stasis was kind of busted, if you think about it. Just... Its usability in combat was... Pretty amazing. I'm going to miss stasis.
these shrines are much cooler in terms of visual style, I think. This UI needs a dark mode. <laughs> it doesn't have dark mode. I wonder if that's a setting. I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door to the Temple of Titan should now be open for you. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, now I'm kind of curious. Options. Camera sensitivity, aim with motion controls. HUD mode, normal. Yeah, no dark mode. What are special controls? Throw material- oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. No dark mode is default in the current year, I know. Ugh, there we go. We got- we got... The ability to go anywhere now. This is definitely stretching the fantasy quite a bit. Oh. Yeah, okay. I like I like this outfit. It looks cool. Oh, it's a yahaha. No, come on, it is. But here's, here's the thing, you can ascend, but you can't descend. What is... what is this? Birds of flight. cycle no visitors oh this is a rarity it is unusual for me to receive visitors here i assume you require xeno devices to descend the mountain would you like to use the dispenser yeah okay that's the same tutorial okay just maybe you had something new to say i don't know I'll be useful later, I'm sure. So they just use fans. Okay. Hups. 
so this is just we're just gonna assume this is gonna work I should probably save here because this seems like a very crucial point now how would I even go about building this Is it as easy as I think it is? Guess we'll find out, huh? I know, chat. This seems dubious at best. Oh, fuck. Okay. It worked. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, okay. That's fine. It walks like a glider. I, I think we're okay. No, we're fine. Absolutely fine. Just... Wait, no, this is a bad idea. How do I... How do I fall? Uh... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. <laughs> we're fine. There's a wind that stops it. That's cool. See, it, it does have a it does have a limit. You can't go to a ceiling that's way high up. It's got to be relatively close. So I guess it's balanced. Curious about this already. You know what? This is probably a bad idea. Yeah, because that. Because I have a way up, but not a way down. Close door. I suppose this is the tier, huh? She's dressed differently. Very zen. doing
Wait, what? Recall. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop. Okay. Hmm. Ah, recall. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw. It's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo. One that reflects her sheer will. Now that you've been given this ability, no doubt it'll prove important. Oh crap. How did I mess that up? I do like the slowdown, that's kind of cool. I mean, I guess this is going to take over Stasis as a uh, defensive ability. Okay, listen, this isn't the challenge that I'm doing, so, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this isn't, like, the thing I was doing in Breath of the Wild. <sighs> the door stands as a test of your overall vitality. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open. But there is one more shrine on this island. There you can get another blessing. Oh. If you add that to the other blessings you received at the shrines and offer them to all the goddesses, you might be able to find a way forward after all. Mm. Let me see the pure pad. Right, so it forces you to take a heart container. The pure pad lets you travel to certain places instantly. Do you see all the blue marks on your map? You can travel instantly to any of them. I suggest to the one at the bottom of your map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of this island's shrines around somewhere. I imagine this is going to be like a very quick formality. Is it showing Hyrule underneath that? I think it is. Interesting. Hold on. I'm not sure if this is going to do anything. Wait, what is this? Map. Okay, I thought wrong. I thought maybe it did something. Alright, let's go.
Oh. No shit. What is this? This looks awfully suspicious. <laughs> oh, it is. Hey. There we go. But, 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 but. I'm up high now. <laughs> There is a way back down, I guess. Where am I? I need to land in either I land in water or I glide down, one or the other. This is the same as... I oh, know, we're fine. I know where I am now. Now we're good. But it's behind me? Okay. That, yeah, that's, that's cool. That didn't take much time to find. That was accidental. The ability to rewind, all right. I'm in the correct spot. I mean, this is a fun power. It's cool how everything else still goes forward except the thing that you, you were using. I guess if you feel like you've messed up, then yeah, you can just undo it. Interesting. I still feel like the chests are the same as Breath of the Wild's chests, they're just... They're not interesting. I have to get them in synchronization.
Yeah, I mean, very, very similar. That ominous red <laughs> glow. I guess that's the thing that's a little, it's a little scary. <laughs> this is a very, very, uh, long tutorial. Dude, like, I've been playing this for four hours. Compare this to Breath of the Wild one. This is a lot longer, but it's fun. It's not a complaint. It's just... This is way larger scope. We haven't even reached, um, Hyrule. Okay, so now we just fast travel back. It's the closest one. Feels good to be able to use fast travel. Oh shit. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't realize there was no water though. I thought it was all safe. Eh, I mean, that was bound to happen at least once. Oh man. Just. Dark mode. Oh, there we go, that should be safe. Dark mode UI, that's the only thing. It's so minor, but I, I want it. I think it would look good. The collector's edition of the box is black, and I can imagine what it looks like. this one. So wait, what does the map function do? Whoops. Press B. Because there's a map quick slot. Let's see what it does. Okay, so... But, eh, it's, it's, I thought it was going to be like an overlay. That's just, I guess, a shorthand. But it's no different than me doing that. It seems like a weird thing. At least I think it's weird. I don't know. I thought it was going to make it like an overlay and you could still see your gameplay. That'd be cool. But you're just shortcutting what you do with, um... With the minus... So they force you to upgrade Link. So no three heart thing. No three heart challenge. I mean, I guess you could get rid of the heart later, but... That red glow. Ooh, that's, that's ominous. A rare item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom. Go and bring priests to the world. Now this should be doable.
I wonder if there's going to be more doors like this one. Ah, good. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Exactly as Zelda said. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. on my back. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, it's not that. It is this. Just a sec. Just checking, just checking. <laughs> just checking. Master, I have deduced that there's a 99% chance that you should touch this. It's gonna disappear. Right, so, if she, so she has this power to teleport things long distance. Why couldn't we go in there? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm as confused as you, Link. Don't worry. That thing in the distance, that that looks really ominous. Oh, okay. 
Link. I know where we are. You must find me. Uh, I'm going to save because I feel like I'm going to go splat. <laughs> I'm going to go splat. But let's just assume this leads to safety. I can't tell where I am right now. Yeah, this seems safe. What is this place? This seems a bit shallow. Okay, we're fine. I don't recognize this. It's already a good sign. It's like, I don't recognize this part. Alright, but we've arrived! This, this is central Hyrule, but I guess it's kind of recovered. Four and a half hours, I know, right? Oh, shit. It's a horn for Coblin. It had fruit. I see what that's about to get me to do. Restoration materials. Use these materials case for all your building needs. Yeah, four and a half hours to reach this point. Mental. This, this game is going to eat up a lot of my life for the next week. I mean, it's the same centerpiece, it's just like Hyrule Castle being in the middle of everything. That looks further away. No, see, this is slightly different. Look, look over there, right? That's familiar, but then that is not. It seems further away. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems further away. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, I don't have a glide. I'm trying to glide. <laughs> ah! Like, why is that working? Because I don't have a glider. Sunderlion. Oh, it's a still ruins.
Yeah, that didn't work. Alright, I'm just gonna go. I see a shrine over there, but let's just ignore that for now. I'm heading... Oh, what is that thing? It's like a, a patrol. It looks like, yeah, that's the, uh, the lab. Oh, no, this is like a town now. What the fuck? I know what I should do with that, but not yet. Not yet. No way. Link? Mr. Link? Is that really you? Where have you been? No one's seen you or Princess Zelda since you went under the castle to investigate the gloom. That's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been so worried about both of you. Pura has barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. At the moment, Pyrrha should be inside that building with the telescope. Please hurry. She'll want to know you're alright. Lookout landing. Ah, oh, what a pleasant morning. Hey, hey, you, where have you been? Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope. Go up on the second floor, go see her, and give her some peace of mind, will ya? Okie dokie. <gasps> Wait a minute, what do you think you're doing? Um. Joshua needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. Okay. Pose. Pose. Oh no, there are pose in this game too. <laughs> they, they're back. Pose have returned. Yeah, the things from Twilight Princess. The ghosts you have to kill. What? That hair, those eyes. The the dark, Doctor Pierre. The swordsman, the swordsman has returned. <sighs> oh shit, she's older. <sighs> okay, now where have you been? Link, she's not a child. You're not a ghost, are you? Hey, that looks interesting. What exactly happened? Damn, she looks so different. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then later you wake up on a sky island saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature and learn
learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rama. The master sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Huh? Then. What? He's saying it came from up there. This Raru you met. I think that's what the first King of Hyrule was named. Are they one of the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. The castle rising up, the ruins falling from the sky. The mummy must somehow be connected. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message for you to find her. If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Hoz. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you yes. can. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around here. Which is concerning to say the least, but... We have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Character profiles. Oh, that's cool, and we get artwork for it. The highest authority on ancient technology, she served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Okay. It is time for an intermission chat. It's been four and a half hours, so the opening sequence is now done. We can start, uh, I guess, the main part of this game. So, I'm gonna take two to five minutes. I just wanna get a beverage and get some snacks on, on the desk here, so. Because I, I got snacks for today. No tea time, no, but we'll, we'll get a nice beverage. So give me two to five minutes. You should get a snack or something yourself because I'm going to be playing for a while. But uh, I do like to stretch my legs. I'm not just sitting down for multiple hours. Anyway, uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, this is the part where I say bye YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you are enjoying this uh, playthrough. And don't forget to do that fun algorithm stuff if you uh, want to support what I'm doing here. But yeah, see you next time YouTube.